Mmm. Wow, this one stings a little bit. Um, for those of y'all who are in the Midwest, I'm sure everybody know Dr. Carter. From Chicago to Detroit to Milwaukee, Beloit, Racine. Oh, wow. Caledonia, Madison. Who didn't know the first black pharmacist that was on 24th and Burleigh? Wow. Four. Who oh, half of my life. Almost all of my life. Oh, wow. This is such... Such a... Um, uh, passing of a torch. Because Dr. Carter... Well, I got so many Dr. Carter stories, I don't even know where to start. And I'm sure anybody, anybody out there from Milwaukee... Um, come on, let yourself be known. If you're from Milltown, Chicago area, y'all remember, and if you know Dr. Carter, I want to pay tribute to him today. Um, he's another old relic in Milwaukee, like Reverend, I mean, Reverend, like James Cameron. How many of y'all know James Cameron? He passed away a few days. He's the, he's the guy that's that one noose. That's there. And two of his partners that was with him got hung. And the one noose that he escaped, the one noose that he got that was there, that was for, wow, the late, great James Cameron, who was a personal godfather of mine, somebody I love very much. Um, I think one of the last presentations that we did was the Milwaukee Maafa. And um, he was a guest of honor. I think that the world should have did more to honor James Cameron, especially uh, us. And that was our responsibility. Um, just like Dr. Carter. Dr. Carter is a legend. He is a legend, a legend, a legend. And... Um, <sighs> Oh man, let me just um, you know, for those of y'all, oh my printer? God, for those of y'all who don't know, <sighs> for those of y'all who don't know, of a treasure to the city, Dr. Lester Carter, a longtime pharmacist and trailblazer, passed away today. Christina Van Zelst is live at the Milwaukee Pharmacy, where Dr. Carter made such an impact in our city. He really did. And this building opened back up in 1968. Since then, the owner, Dr. Carter, has really left an impact on the city and a lot of Milwaukeeans, whether that be with medical or personal advice. Tonight, we spoke with a lot of community members about that impact he had over the last couple of decades. There's no prescription on the shelves at the Milwaukee Pharmacy to mend the broken heart, screaming the loss of a Milwaukee icon, Dr. Lester Carter. Dr. Carter. It's obviously the worst, it's the worst day ever. Wow. His son speaks for the family and the entire community who frequented Carter's drugstore on 24th and Burleigh the last 47 years. It's during those decades Carter touched the lives of thousands of people. We'll be sorely missed. We'd love and this guy. A giant and We'd this love him. In the the community remembers Dr. Carter for his herbal mixes and healing powers. The innovator leaving a legacy behind as Black History Month arrives. He encountered so much oppression and racism over the time. He kept his chin up and stayed at it. Uh, he did. Best fit. One foot in front of the other one every single day, uh, looking for a brighter future for himself and for his family. The doc's inspiration finding its way here to G's Clippers. He actually um, uh, gave me a... Uh, uh, something he he formulated, you know, for ingrown hair bump uh, for men, you know, razor bump. The barbershop owner says the two were close. He even took some ideas from Dr. Carter's prescription book. In fact, he was the force behind G's Clippers Health Clinic. I had, had uh, enormous respect for him. I admired his will to uh, to just give back to the community, to provide uh, health 
and awareness to the community. While Dr. Carter isn't around to share his advice during this time of hurt, it's the comfort of his legacy that is Healing Monday. And if all of us can take anything from his life, yeah. you know, boy, yes. what a difference this world could possibly be. The Milwaukee County Medical Examiner says it is likely that Dr. Carter died from COVID-19. The family says they are planning some type of memorial for the public to pay their respects, but that is still in the works. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Christina Van Zelst. Oh, wow. 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 So for those of us who know Dr. Carter, Dr. Carter has helped me out of a lot of jams. He's given me a lot of great advice. Um, I think one of the main things um, I can say is when uh, when I got in trouble <laughs> uh, and I was so stressed out because I had never been in that kind of situation before where um, I knew it was bogus. Everybody knew it was bogus and a bunch of us got arrested for, again, that uh, voter fraud. That's why when I hear this shit now, I'm telling y'all, that's why I can say wash, rinse, repeat. They put me in jail for selling votes. I'm like, what? At that time, I was a, um, a, 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 a lot working studio musician and had came out to help somebody who I'd known uh, again all my life pretty much. I knew his family. I knew he come from a good pedigree. Uh, a lot of y'all know Mike McGee Sr. So I came out to help my brother and then a bunch of us got arrested. Michael ended up doing like seven years because the city of Milwaukee was going to get rid of him because he was doing too much and he was almost like a little black uh, uh, Superman. You remember that that movie we had, Meteor Man? No, the one... He, Mike McGee was actually running through the uh, a hood solving issues and, 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 and uh, <laughs> problems that the community, that the police department wasn't solving. You know they couldn't have that as an alderman. So whatever he was doing under the table, um, uh, he was doing things like making the stores, the Arab stores, give have book buybacks or have uh, backpack drives. If they were in the heart of this community, they made over a million dollars. He made them buy all the kids in the neighborhood, book bags, uh, whatever, right? Okay, so you know that's ex they call that extortion. <laughs> so, but my point is, he had a lot of uh, Nelson Mandela tactics as well. Mike did. Uh, but Dr. Carter was somebody that comforted all of us during that time. He gave me a tea to help with my nerves. And I'll never forget um, uh, some of the things that he said that he had endured. And just like my father, just like James Cameron and all the older brothers ahead of him, he said, those that's the that's the fight you know what you do is you take your tonics you rub your body down and you keep going and that's who he was um lester carter he he was he's a gym he was a gym in our community so for those of y'all i know that aren't local or aren't regional that don't know dr carter he was our let me see our doctor, I would I want to say Dr. Oz, but that that wouldn't that wouldn't even be good. Whatever doctor we um put in high regard on the mainstream, let me tell y'all, Lester Carter was that and so much more. He's going to be with the ancestors now. He made his transition. My condolences go to the family, but his life work is forever, and y'all got something to be sincerely proud of. And his legacy is going to go on and on and on and on. And if you stop through Milwaukee, don't forget to pass 24 from Burleigh. If you can dodge the bullets. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, 
but he stayed in the heart of the hood, in the heart of the community. And we thank him. He was our champion and our hero. Well done, my good and faithful servant. I'm sure that's what the ancestors are saying to him right now. As he balanced the scales of my eye. Rest in power. Lester Carter.